Lo, this is Mike, nostressmike.com. Um, let's see, uh, on my way, I'm in Kansas. Yes, yeah, you probably tell, but I'm looking kind of flat. Uh, on my way up to uh, the Mind, Body, and Spirit Expo in uh, Omaha, Nebraska. And, uh, uh, but anyway, I want to talk about uh, uh, avoiding the legal system. Um, I don't know if you realize it, but, well, you do realize the legal system is kind of screwed up. And um, the main reason is it's not really a constitutional system. Uh, it's um, kind of made up by the maritime uh, laws. And, and that's because that's more of a, a world kind of legal system. Um, they don't really admit it and say it out loud. But that's why uh, the, the legal system is kind of screwed up. That's why. And um, uh, now, personally, I don't have any problems with the legal system. This is why I thought I might uh, say something. Uh, but now, now wait a minute. The, the the legal system in the United States is where I have a problem. The legal system anywhere outside the United States that I've been to. Uh, I've been able to work my way out of whatever kind of legal problems that I get myself into. And mainly that's because I live my life um, more moral. Uh, laws change in different places, but I, I have kind of a, a moral responsibility. And so I... And so I try to do the right thing. Normally, uh, that pretty much gets me off the hook. I've, I've gone to court in the United States. I've always got out of everything that I've got out of. And the main reason uh, was the judges that I've had, even though the system may not be constitutional, if they can see that I've got, I live my life moral, and normally I'll get out of it. Uh, and I say normally, and I guess I said really I've always got out of it, even in the United States. And um, I've made videos about every time I've been in court. I had to go through all this stuff, so I explained it. But uh, one of the things... Now, see, I don't do criminal acts. The problem with the police nowadays, they're law enforcement. Uh, uh, being a policeman in the old days was an honorable uh, career because you did policing. You uh, protected people. You were helpful to people and this type of stuff. Nowadays, law enforcement, there's a law against everything. I guarantee you can't do anything without breaking the law. I, I guarantee it. So, the idea is uh, if they want to, to hit you with something, they can. There's a lot of stuff. The idea is uh, law enforcement, you have to show them that you are a moral person. That, that helps a lot. I'm not saying that's going to fix it, but that's going to help a lot. Uh, there's a lot of things I still have problems with, like, you know, they ask all these questions and stuff. Do you lie or do you not? You know, I mean, that's, you know, if you haven't done nothing criminal, 
I don't know. That's why I got to flip the coin. Do I lie or not on this stuff? Uh, uh, but there's certain things that I, I don't do, and I, I don't let uh, law enforcement search my car, uh, come into my house, uh, and when I had businesses, uh, storefronts, storefront businesses, restaurants mainly, I wouldn't let them come in. Uh, official. Now, if they're hungry, hey, anybody's hungry, I got to get them taken care of. That's my job. And, uh, but um, the thing to do to, uh, you have to understand the system that they're working under. And then once you understand the system that they're working under, what you got to do is kind of avoid getting into the system. In other words, uh, I wish all of the law breaking that I did or I do is a ticket because law enforcement the main thing that they're doing now is it's kind of extortion uh, I mean I'm talking about uh, I don't, can't, can't call myself a law abiding citizen I used to be able to but I can't do that now but I am a non-criminal and being as a non-criminal, uh, if I can make them keep their mind off of looking for criminal activity that I'm doing, well, I'll be okay. Uh, but that's why you don't really want to call police. Uh, I say when I have my restaurants, I don't call 911. Now, uh, one time in my last restaurant, uh, somebody called. Well, my wife called one time. Well, I made. I already told the story. About to it again. I told my wife never called nine one one, and uh, I threw somebody out, and uh, she called nine one one. And uh, by the time the policeman got there, he saw him. I, I'm lucky I saw him. I'm, I was just getting ready to make contact, and I could see over the guy's shoulder. And that's when I saw the police car drive up. And I just turned around and walked away. So, uh, because police, the only thing they know is what they see. The rest of this stuff is just your word against their word and all this kind of stuff. And that's, that's why you don't want to get involved in that. Because it gets complicated. Continue you get lawyers 15, involved. Six miles. And so then it really gets bad. That's why you don't want to do that stuff. But, uh, so I told, I went back and told her again after that. You never call the cops. And so she could see how she could have got me in trouble by calling the cops. And after that, one time, somebody in the restaurant called the 911. And when they got the call from my restaurant, and that was after I was training SWAT teams, and then they said, well, just go on and send an ambulance. Uh, you know, don't worry about the police, just send an ambulance over there. Because they knew I don't call the police. So in other words, something already happened. So in other words, send an ambulance. But... Uh, remember, the main job, and it was a small town, and so no big deal. Uh, but remember, what the, the law enforcement is doing nowadays, they're not policing. What they're doing is extortion. They're, they're looking for money, ways to get money. And as long as I can keep them on that, well, then just give me a ticket, and then I can just pay the ticket. That's all you want, the money anyway. So, And Oklahoma... I'm not in Oklahoma now, I'm in Kansas, but in Oklahoma, I guess they got a thing where uh, they'll take money out of your uh, uh, credit cards. Uh, so that's why I've got small limits on my credit cards, and I don't leave money in my debit card. So if they do do stuff like that to me, well, then not they're not going to get much from me. But I don't know the situation where they can do that, but they can do that in Oklahoma. So, and that's why I've said traveling outside the United States is a little more difficult for me. That's why it was a big deal for me to decide I want to move back to the United States. Uh, so what, what I'm saying is as long as you stay uh, moral and, like I say, you don't do criminal activities, you can pretty much work things out. And you want to get things worked out when the police are at, at wherever you're at. If you're driving or they're called to wherever it is you're at, 
all these kind of things. You want to get things worked out right there. Don't let it get into the court system. Because I say the court system is rigged. And uh, you've got a high chance of uh, uh, being hurt. And, uh, uh, but I say, if you if you stay civil, understand your goal is to stay out of the system, and you don't do anything criminal, you can pretty much work things out if you do it properly. And that means uh, being civil. Uh, in the old days, you could cuss them out and stuff like that, but now you can't do that. You got to. You gotta make sure that they think that they're king shit. So, uh, so you gotta kind of go along with a lot of stuff. But um, it's it's uh, there's ways out of it, but you have to do it out of the court system. You don't want to get drugged into the court system of any type of anything. So look for ways that you can avoid uh, the system. Uh, uh, when you get drug into it, your limit, your uh, options really become limited. Uh, if you're trying to stay moral, and uh, that's my main goal, to stay moral, because like I say, moral. If I've done everything right, and then it's just in God's hands. Whatever happens, happens. But, don't get involved in the court system. This is Mike. No stress Mike. Dot com.